All right, we're here at the uh, Pismo Car Show. It's a big event. A lot of people come here to try to sell their cars, market their cars. I got 50 racks for the first car. That I, it's all fake money. I hope I don't get robbed out here. I'm gonna find a for sale car. You're looking to buy a car with all that money? Yeah. What kind of car? I don't know. We're just out here looking. We're gonna buy a car hopefully today. Well, how much you have? 50. You came to the right place. You could buy a lot of cars with that. You want a car? Maybe I could buy you one. You're a veteran. Sure. Let me go pick one. It's fake money. <laughs> it doesn't look fake to me. Here, you can have one then. Maybe buy a beer or something. No way. There's no way that's. Fake. Are you kidding me? It says for motion picture use only. Well, I'll take one. Yeah, here, here you go. I might be able to get a plane ticket back to Vietnam. How's that? Out of all places? No, you can buy a car over there pretty cheap. You think I could get a ride down to the other side of the street? Sorry, buddy. Hey, what about for five grand? Thanks, yeah. <laughs> See you, man. Have a good one. There you go. Five grand. Come on. Five grand? Hell no. Come on, man. Just real quick. Get out of here, dude. Car for sale? Yeah. How much? 78. What's the highest offer you've gotten so far? Nothing. What about 50 grand? No. Really? You wouldn't sell this piece of junk for 50 grand? Why not? Because I don't need your money. But you're here trying to sell it. The blue book value on it is $78,000. You have to know what you're looking at. This is an original 1957 car with the original motor from 1957. What's the miles per gallon? Who cares? Why is this 78 grand? Because it's what the value of it is. To you or to, to the who? World. Okay, so what about 30 grand? Would you take 30? Son, I don't need your money. Okay, 25. I don't need your money. All right, I didn't want to do this, but 20, 20 grand cash. Doesn't matter. You say it doesn't matter, but money talks. Wait till you hold this in your hand. Here. Let me tell you something. Here, man. Let me tell you something. Oh. Shove it up your ass. How? Do you understand? No, I don't. That's an insult. You are an insult. I apologize. It's still a piece of crap, though. Have a nice day. I'm just kidding. It's not a piece of crap. Have a nice I really day. like it. Final offer? 15. No. I like your mustache, though. Have a nice day. I will. Excuse me, sir. Is it true that you're a big capper? Yes, I'm a big capper. <laughs> I love the hat, dude. Yeah, I appreciate the compliment. How much was it? TikTok. I don't even remember. Yeah. Can I buy it off of you? For $1,000, you can buy it off me. All right. <laughs> Wait, what? If I just made a grand? <laughs> what? The the, you can just nope. keep the change. That's not real. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> I'm a capper too. Okay. I like to I like to bust caps. Oh, I like to bust nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you the guy that goes into the Walmarts and gets kicked out? No. I think I've seen you. No, no, no. No? Okay. All right. I mean, I have before, but I, I try to do more creative things. Well, I'm a big pimpin, 77. <laughs> pimpin on pimpin on pimpin. Since, uh, since I was a little kid, I'm pimpin. <laughs> What are you thinking for this one? It'll probably be around 65. Oops. Oh, Ow, a paper cut. 65 and 69. Would you ever take 50 cash? No. You just paper cutted me though. Is this your car? How much are you asking for it? 43, your best offer. Has anyone offered 50? No, I wouldn't even let it go that high. No way. Give me the keys. Is there a bank here? Are you guys legit? I'm legit. How much you got? This is 50. 50,000? Yeah. I've got the pink slip. What I'd like to do is meet up with you at a bank. Oh, that sounds suspicious. Sure. So I want to make sure it's not counterfeit. No, read it. It says for motion picture use only. It's legit. Is there a bank that's open here? <laughs> no, it's, it's fake money. I'd be willing to hop in the back seat with you, though. <laughs> I told him it said for motion picture use only. He's like, oh, yeah, so it's real? <laughs> I've never seen one of these before. I'm in the back. Is it comfy back there? Not behind the shit behind your back like this. <laughs> but I want to sit in the front seat so bad with them. They're right here. And I can... It's open. No, I know. They're right there. You know. Go ahead. I don't want to put the back. Right. He's in the car. He's tampering with evidence. I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back. Never go back. <laughs> Damn, is this a Ford GT? What the fuck is this? Yeah, I like your body. Out. Yeah, isn't that nice? Yeah, it's really yeah. hot. Oh, good. I'm glad you're getting it. <laughs> Why is the cars everywhere? Beautiful. There's Beautiful. a road runner up there I love. Oh, the bird? <laughs> the same color as yours. Whoa. Yeah, it's same color. Ford. Imagine I did the same thing. Same color. Yeah. I wouldn't do that. Oh, no. Unless way, you consented. Huh? you very much. Mm -hmm. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> you can't park here in the middle of the street. Hey, is this your car? Yes, sir. Can I buy it off of you? It's up for sale. Oh, you can't park here. Come on, we're leaving. Hey, you can't go through here. <laughs> <Fuck>. <laughs> hey, someone's going to steal your golf cart, dude. Don't leave the keys in there. Do you have a license to actually be out here? What are you saying? Do you have a license? Um, I'll deal with you in a minute. <laughs> okay. A license to film in public? We're on the road. <laughs> 
I'll be back for you. Do I stay here? We're gonna find out, don't worry. I'll be back. <laughs> He's fucking Terminator. <laughs> Do you have a license to be here? I have to have a license. Exactly. That guy's a fucking idiot. What do you mean by a license? A business license? A photography license? Do you have a license to be recording me? <laughs> so, I mean, what are you guys doing? We came here with money and we're trying to buy cars, but not very many of them are for sale, so. Oh, yeah? How much money do you have? I don't want to say it out loud. Wow, that's pretty serious. Right? Yeah. Do you think we had a, need a license to carry that much money? Yeah. Final offer. Don't talk to me. One. Macho! One million? Tell him to hit the road. Macho? Yeah. Nice to meet you. I was just wondering why his car was so expensive. Because it's wood. It's wood? It's wooden. Oh, I thought you said wooden. I think he thought we were going to run for the hills because his name was Macho. <laughs> Do you go to school here too? I'm just on a walk. Oh, nice. Do you guys spare a dollar? I can give you 20 if you have a phone. Damn, no cash on me. Have a great day. Okay, what'd you call me? Christian, hooligan Christian. <laughs> no, you said Christian hooligan. <laughs> How come everyone says Christian hooligan? I have no idea. Do you think my name is literally Christian, last name hooligan? I am, bro. What was your name? Alfonso. What's the last name? Marianas. Marianas Alfonso, guys. Say his name backwards. Do you want to make 20 bucks? Sure. All right, put these on. Oh. Right now. Uh, now nah, I'm good. All right. Can I have a fry? Go for it. No, don't, don't. He's on a diet. <laughs> All right. Have a good one. Do you know who Christian Hooligan is? No. No. How's it going? Hooligan Christian, nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you, bro. What are you doing? What are you doing? Just going home. All right. How do you get in the buildings? You're not supposed to if you don't live here. You're going to get in a lot of trouble. Appreciate it. No beats. No What's up, man? Sure. You ever had an awkward elevator conversation? Yeah. Yeah? You want to have one? Yeah. Thong. Do you want to put it on real quick? No, I'm good. Do it. Nah, I think that's pretty common. All right. Where are we going? Right to my room. All right. Are you going to put it on in the room? No. Nah. Do you have a roommate that would possibly do it? Uh, I doubt it. We'll ask. Yo. Oh, man. Just get naked and put these on. I'm busy right now. Oh, you don't want to try these on? No. Look, you may be gay, but like, I don't know, man. Nothing gay about a pair of leopard speedos. Where are the study rooms at? The study rooms are right here. You're looking at them. It's a literal see-through glass window right there. That's it. Are you David? Yeah. Would you like to try these on? Wait. It's a speedo. It's like a leopard print. Right now? Yeah. It's like a test right now. Just pause it. Sorry, bro. Thanks. Are you little DJ Zucchini? Dude, no. Get the fuck out, bro. No Shit. one wants you here. I'm sorry. Like. Do you want me here? Like, this is some bullshit, bro. Oh, okay. yeah. I thought Lil but, Zucchini lived here. How do you know Lil Zucchini? It's fucking written on the door. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, for real? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that shit was so ugly, to be honest. Yeah. I couldn't tell if that guy was mad or not. Do you guys know DJ Zucchini? Yeah. He's fire, huh? Yeah. He's sick. Nice to meet you. DJ Apricot. You guys have a good one. What up, boys? Do you think you could put these on for me real quick? Uh, probably not. They're clean. What's up? How you doing, bro? John, what's this for? Our math class. You know, baby Tron. You fuck with Tron? I am Tron. Can we come in for a minute? Actually, no, because I'm about to film a speech, like, in a mm, minute. Because that's the thing, I, I wanted to undress you and put you in this thong. <laughs> that's crazy. So you have a minute to do it. No, I gotta go. I, I gotta look, go get people look pretty good that's on crazy. you. Do you know these guys? Are they cool? Yeah. Or are they fucking framed their Grubhub receipt? How's it going, man? Damn, you're sexy as shit. Come step in the light, you look like a fucking model. Wow. Uh, of course this girl knows you. Too. Seems like you guys have a lot in common. How you doing, bro? Good. How are you? Amazing. Can you put this on for me? Just this? Yeah, like no, nothing else. You just need that. Do you think it'll look good or no? Uh, dude, that I think anything style. would look good on you. Mm. Yeah. She has a crush on you, I think. She just went inside. Made her uncomfortable. How much money do I have to pay you? I'll give you nah. 20 bucks. Nah, I think I'm good. Dude, that's more than the Grubhub Jesus. receipt taped to your door. Why do you need this for your math class? It's called addition. So you plus the underwear equals sexy. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly don't appreciate being filmed without my consent. Oh, you are the guys who are going inside the buildings and doing the stuff that you shouldn't be doing. What are you talking about? And we heard you're going inside the buildings and literally going around and filming. 
and stuff like that without literally <laughs> literally yeah so yeah. we don't really appreciate that oh man yeah you have a name i can get right now which one first name or last name oh christian hooligan all right we're gonna have to ask y'all to leave or we're gonna call the cops leave what leave around here call the cops <laughs> Okay. We had multiple reports literally yesterday of y'all going inside buildings and following people. Yesterday? Uh, and stuff. Yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? I just got here 20 minutes ago. You matched the description. I do? Yeah. What the fuck? Honestly, you, all three of you actually matched the description. You can yes, we appreciate y'all. We're going to get going, but I'll see you. They're discriminating. They're discriminating against me. Do you surf in a Speedo or do you wear a wetsuit? Definitely a wetsuit. Do you want to put this on? I'm okay. I appreciate it though. <laughs> this is my turn. I'll see you later. Oh, no way. It's ours too. Sure, I'll see later. Oh, our car is actually parked over here. <laughs> okay, I don't know what the fuck we're doing. We're driving around right now. The weather is ass. It's raining. Not many people outside. There's a city council meeting that I'm going to, okay? A bunch of like elites, <laughs> lizard people, they get together and they discuss what's going on in the community and I have a script written. Never been to one. They're very professional, mean looking old people. So I think they will definitely appreciate what I have to say because I'm, I'm coming from a new perspective. They've never heard this before, so. Oh shit. Hey man, you need a ride? Come on, hop in buddy. Dude. Dude, I don't care. You might get hit by a car. I'm good. You're wearing flip-flops and it's raining. You're crazy, man. <laughs> Who the fuck's honking at me? I'm waiting for the stop sign to turn green. Hey, when does this stop sign turn green? Are you stoned? Yeah. How does he know my name? <laughs> yes, dude, my name is Stoned. City Hall, baby. How's it going? Hey, it's going well. You know the drill. If you want to speak, there you go. Fuck the slow. Fuck Westmont Apartments. And fuck you if you think there's nothing to be done. <laughs> Any other speakers? A, a different model of cost recovery. So um, at this point, we've had you know a couple rough months during the storm. Uh, we had over nearly 65 days of closure, and we have an aging infrastructure of a to uh, partner with a different group that can be a little more successful or be able to have those resources. And we can pivot our resources to a new uh, initiative. That's an opportunity. Okay. I've been here for three and a half hours now, just waiting to speak. It's been way too long. I'm getting tired of it. Should we just go in and just like demand to speak? Um, so with all the questions being out there, we'll go ahead and move on to public comment. City Clerk, do we have public comment? Christian. All right, my name is Christian, and I'm here to talk about a very serious problem. You guys were talking about budget, and I think I have a way to like help everybody make more money. And it's not drop shipping, okay? The homeless people here, they're evolving. Everything they do is an act to be the underdog and lower the expectations of the public. When you see them going down the street and they're pushing a, a cart full of just miscellaneous items, how do we know that's miscellaneous? Miscellaneous. They could be doing this to lower our expectations and pull the wool over our eyes. They could be transporting supplies to build a Mars-bound missile. They use the cloak of homelessness to avoid confrontation. I fear that they're planning something similar to the Planet of the Apes, where they play dumb until it's time for change. Okay, Mayor? The other day I saw a homeless person using a pothole in the road as a way to eat his oatmeal. And I've seen homeless people build one bed, one bath that was 400 square feet out of boxes and tarps. He even built a projector that makes it look like there's more stars in the sky to help negate light pollution. These are feats that only crackheads can pull off. No sober person would have the energy to pull this off. What I think gives them this superpower is a substance known as crack cocaine. This substance gives them unlimited energy and creativity to work day and night on world domination. The only way to prevent crackheads from world domination is fighting fire with fire. We use tax money to send every housed individual a weekly care package of crack via mail. We need to first decriminalize crack and stop the propaganda that crack is whack. If everyone is on crack, then nobody is on crack. We need to even the playing field with these crafty crackheads, and this may seem like a silly, goofy problem, but I assure you that it's way more urgent than you can imagine. I've never heard a crackhead say, I don't have money today, so I guess I can't smoke crack. And I think that's the type of work I think we need back behind the civilians of San Luis Obispo.
the working individuals. If we all don't start smoking crack right now, by the end of 2024, the world will be dominated by high octane and motivated crackheads. So I'm asking you guys, the city council, to address me as the plug and hit me up for the low low. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, you guys all have a good one. <laughs> don't do crack. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, Erica. Thanks, Andy. <laughs> uh, Madam Mayor, members of council, as the arts person in the room, I tend to believe that everything is a performance piece. Dude, we waited three hours. Wait, how long did we wait? Like, actually, like almost four hours to do that one clip, dude. That's ridiculous. Peep the book. <laughs> Councilmember Pease. I'm glad he, uh, you know, broke at the very end just to make sure that we're clear on the, on the performance piece of that. So, uh, so I'm. Um, uh, we're looking Christian, huh? Yeah. Love this fool right here. You don't know this nigga? No, no, dude. They don't. I'm just a white guy from the nigga, O. You don't know this nigga? Where are you from? Nigga. From the O. From the Oceano? No, dude. Fuck that nigga Zachary. That nigga fucking touched me, couldn't even fucking knock me out. <laughs> I was dude. on the floor, he fucking kicked me, nigga couldn't do shit. He kicked me six times, couldn't do shit, my nigga. Okay, for context, Zach is a kid that was in the uh, mistletoe video. We hung out for the day. I'll give you the cracker pass. Actually, you can call me a cracker, yeah. Yo, or candy. Candy, my <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? <laughs> He's like, hey, you're Christian Hooligan. Dead. Your friend beat my ass. What the fuck? My bitch, <laughs> so random. Nigga. My nigga, I just got fucking out of JC, at Juvie. For what? I stole a car. You stole a car? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's sick, right? I used to do the I same shit. Shake. Nigga, does my face look fucked up? Yeah, I mean, not from the punches, hey, but bit, just... Nah, you kicked right me in there. the face like six times. This you let him kick you six times? Nigga, I was on the floor. Too. Sounds like a problem, dude. You gotta uh, I know, get I up. get up, nigga, but I took that shit like a man, though. If you pull your pants up, maybe pull you'd be able to get up faster. Mm-hmm, but... <laughs> That's funny as fuck that we met you after I got my ass beat though. It was right Look. there on the steps right there. I'll, I'll call him. Let me call him over here. Call him right now. Tell him big homie sliding. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is big homie? Big homies. All my big homies from the O. Oh. Why can't you guys just fight one on one again? Yeah, I tried nigga. We're drunk though. Dude. I'm <laughs> sober. <laughs> like, Let me call him. Yeah, I saw video at the fucking nude beach, bro. Oh, you liked it? You liked no, all those nigga, cities? I did not, but you like that dick? Yeah, I did though. Christian Hooligan. Oh my god, it's Hooligan <laughs> Christian. <laughs> Hello? See this guy? <laughs> What's up, fool? This guy said you beat his ass. Where my shit at, nigga? Where my shit at, fool? You beat his ass, dude. I'm not gonna lie, his face is all red. I swear. He said if you keep talking shit, he's gonna kick you more. Tell him Josiah's right here, fool. He said Josiah's right here, fool. Nigga. He wants to talk to Josiah. Tell Josiah to come through, nigga. He's not here apparently. He's late. Look at this nigga laughing, fool. Where's my nick? <laughs> <laughs> Who has my nick, nigga? Someone stole your vape? What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> he beat your ass and stole your vape? <laughs> That's fucking crazy. I love yeah. you, nigga. I love you too, man. I don't even know you. Hey, he said he doesn't even know you. He said he went to your hood and nobody knew you. What? <laughs> nigga, what the fuck? <laughs> That's what he said. All right, man. Be safe. <laughs> Bye. A fucking Christian hooligan, some YouTuber, but, <laughs> bro. But Zachary just fucked me up, fool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys have fun. Zachary, nice meeting you guys. Right. Next time, hey, when I'm you're on the ground getting kicked in the face, nigga, I had my face covered, fool. Yeah. Next time, grab his foot. Okay. You got it. We're going. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. What the fuck, dude? Kids nowadays are so advanced, dude. He's probably like 15, dude. When I was 15, I think I was like barely getting into Fortnite. They're out here drunk, vaping, and fighting. That's crazy. What's up, fucker? Why did you guys get in a fight? Dude, I went because my homie was gonna get in a fight with like his friend. And then he comes up to me, he was like talking shit to me. Like, he stole his vape, dude. He, he was really upset about it. He wanted oh, I didn't to even take his vape. I don't even vape. <laughs> he wants it back like right now, dude. I don't even vape. Imagine. <laughs> you guys need to stop getting in fights, dude. Like. No. To play Fortnite or some I, shit. I'm a good kid. I didn't want to fight. Yeah, you are a good kid. I'm a good boy, you know what I mean? Looks like you beat the fuck out of him, okay, though. <laughs> I was in the kitchen while the whipping. I linked up with my boy Hooligan Christian.